Hi guys, we're at the Namtok Mesa waterfall over here in um, Doi Sathep uh, National Park in Chiang Mai. And uh, it's our first time here also. Well, it's our first time in Chiang Mai. So um, we'll uh, find our way around this uh, national park and um, show you guys what what we see by the way it cost um, 230 baht for two people to get in to this national park so that's not too bad 230 baht uh, probably about um, 12 12 Australian dollars around there six six dollars each here's one of the waterfalls over there guys don't know if you can pick it up, but um, we're just walking up to one of the viewing platforms over here. You can certainly hear the water, and uh, you should be able to see that quite uh, spectacular there. Not sure if you can swim in there, that oh, you can. You can swim in there. There's pools over there. We, we won't be going in though. It's very um, uh, green out here, like jungle, almost like jungle. Beautiful, really good, very impressed, very impressed so far, just with that first one that we've just seen. Uh, the air is much uh, fresh out here also. It's um, going to be 36 degrees Celsius in Chiang Mai today. Clear skies up above, but it's very pleasant where we are in this uh, national park because, as you can see, all the greenery forming a canopy over the pathway. Just check out the path over here. The path is done very well. Very, um, very smooth path, so it's easy, easy walking. Hey guys, um, as you can see, they've it's quite well done over here. You've got a few tables and chairs here, yeah, benches. Uh, the timber isn't in the best condition, but it's okay. You can sit down over here, have a little picnic if you want, have lunch. Um, and cool off in the pond over there. You can see, we'll just make our way down to the to the swimming holes over here. They don't look very clear, the water. They don't look very clear, but nevertheless, um, these rocks look quite good. And you can see all the greenery right around it, so it'll be quite pleasant in there. So we're just heading off to another, just, just getting off the main path, because each path, that main path has got a few tributaries which lead uh, off to, so you can see what's going on in the waterfall. And there's some people over there um, in the ponds, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but this is quite nice over here. Um, the water isn't the clearest, it's quite murky, so you wouldn't want to get washed away. Um, that people that, were in the, that was in the water over there, the water didn't look that deep. It was, um, they were only knee high, so it's not that deep, but it's certainly cascading over there, you can see it. Certainly cascading quite a bit. Now guys, the, the enormity of this is quite um, spectacular. I mean, have a look at all the greenery here, yeah? the canopy, all these trees forming a canopy as we go around in the 360 here, yeah? just to show you guys. And all you can hear out here is the water and the insects in the trees. 
and it's very very green out here really is beautiful and there seems to be a lot of people out here it looks like locals um, just having picnics just sitting down got all their food we've seen one area fully laid out with food and there's about 10 people there just um, having a picnic on a Sunday afternoon okay so these areas see this canopy this um, gazebo type thing over here this is um, this one here doesn't look like it's operational it's been blocked but this is the type of thing people have their picnics in they've set it all up there's another shot of the waterfall over there part of the waterfall and a wading pond in there swimming pond so it's quite a um, a nice uh, natural park out here the May Say National Park and that's the May Say waterfall and that there guys is the waterfall at the back of me part of the waterfall and you could probably see it better over there if you come down here and you could probably see it better as we walk closer to it that's a better view of it over there there are a few people just admiring the falls or just sitting down having lunch having a picnic so there's quite a, a good view of the falls over there cascading water down the rocks Uh, there's a decent view for you guys we're about five meters from that water we're a bit closer now and you can hear that sound of water very peaceful very calming sound and people just sitting around having a picnic like I said beautiful stuff I've noticed a few little fish you can just see him over there I don't know if the camera can pick that up but uh, this fish sort of flips to its side sometimes there he goes and you can see a silver I don't know why he does that but he flips over to his side there he goes there so I don't know where this water comes from um, but there are little fish in there actually when I say little that one there is about six inches long that fish so you would think there might be bigger ones in there and check that um, tree over there guys that's um, fallen over and there are signs saying uh, beware of falling branches and trees so that tree is um, landed perfectly you see the V shape over there it's hit the other tree and it's just hanging there it's landed perfectly so when you are in this national park do observe the signs around here because it does say be careful of um, falling trees and branches let's have a look at this tree over here guys the roots look like it's the only thing holding that up they were exposed over here and there's a big rock stuck in the root system over there that tree there could be the next one to go so I wouldn't want to be here when it actually falls look at that check over here it is on a bit of an angle you wouldn't know when it's going to fall but if it does fall it'll be landing down there somewhere and that's one hell of a drop down there
There's another view of the waterfall out there, guys. Don't know if you picked that up. And this here looks like um, the restaurants in here. Heading out, we're heading out of the national park now, and we're going to our next uh, destination. You know, we're just buying. Um, couple of tickets here guys we're at uh, the doy setup um, highest peak in um, in Chiang Mai and those tickets cost us a um, hundred baht 50 baht per person this is to take the cable car further up so we're fairly high up already and um, by the way this is thank you man Okay, we're just about to get into a lift. Hopefully, we're all going to fit in. A uh, cable car, sorry. And this will take us to the, the highest peak in this Doi Suthup area. And um, as you can see, it's riding up. It's uh, fairly steep, so don't. Don't want anything to go wrong over here. I was a bit hesitant to to go up this thing. The other alternative is 300 steps to walk. So, um, I, I wouldn't mind the walk up, but Susan wanted to do the cable car, guys. So we're on the cable car. Apparently, it takes about two minutes to get up there. So then we'll be on the highest peak in Chiang Mai. It's a clear day today. So um, we should be able to get some good views from there. So it looks like we've come to the end of the journey. So we're up here, we'll have to just find our way um, to get the views of this place. It's quite pleasant up here. Quite an engineering feat building high up on the mountain as we walk through here and find our way around we should get to some sort of uh, viewing platform shortly there's cafes up here and gift shops and toilets and everything not quite sure how high we are up, but we are quite a height up. I will find out. It's a temple up here. So that's the 300 steps, I would say, if you want to walk down. So this here is the temple guys, what a good looking temple. Um, right over that way. There's a lot of areas over here we can sit down and relax. Um, we were, I'm not sure if we're going into the temple. Because there's a lot of people in there. But they've got everything up here. 
um, restaurants, like I said, cafes. A lot of greenery, a lot of nice trees up here. It's called Doi Sivap. Highest um, area in Chiang Mai. So there's quite a lot of people up here. The um, elephant over there. Another little temple over here. It's quite um, ornate, these temples. Have a look at that. Now, I do see a few um, people sitting down here over there having, uh, having lunch. It's about that time, it's past lunch time. Look at that bogan earlier there guys, that looks pretty cool. The way they've um, trained that. Okay, so we're trying to find the viewing point over here. It's another part of that temple that I showed you before. That's the side part over there. This guy's camera here. Yeah. What a beauty. It's quite a busy, busy area up here. It looks like there's a bit of um, smoke in the air, not much, but um, enough to. I don't know if it's the smoke or the clouds, but we are very high up here. Yeah? I can't smell any smoke. Sounds like a frog or something over there. I falls having to sleep. It's very peaceful up here. Although there's a lot of people up here, it's um, very peaceful. Nice, probably because of the temples. Check that one out over there. We're getting closer to some sort of viewing um, area, yeah? So we'll have a look. I'll give you a good view of um, Shang Mai. You can, you can see the It's quite an interesting, good view over there. We can pick that up there. So we're fairly high up here, guys. It's called the Doi Setup um, Temple up here. And that there is a 180 degree view of Chiang Mai. Hey guys, so that, that long strip over there, which you can see, that's actually uh, Chiang Mai Airport over there. So it's quite a big spread out area, Chiang Mai. Um, and I'm not sure if that's cloud cover or smoke. But like I said, I can't smell any smoke. So it's quite a good view of the area. 
There's another temple over here. That looks like it's made out of uh, wood, actually, that Buddha. Very interesting, ornate um, temples. Over here. Look at the elephant over there. The elephant looks quite good. a few um, dragons over here. So we're just going to go, I think we're going to go to another viewing platform. No, we're not. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to go down this ramp to go up again. By the looks of it, we just, we've never ever been here before, guys, so we, we're just sort of just following the crowd. So we've just gone down a ramp to go up a ramp. Another viewing type platform over here. We can, um, There's a few stairs to climb up. We'll get there. I'm still not feeling 100%, guys, after that um, drive up here, because those roads were very windy. And like I said, I get motion sickness, so the old stomach's sort of turning around a bit. And this here is a much better view. And there, look at all the greenery over there. And you swing the camera around. Um, you'll get quite a, a good view. And then look at the structure over here. Very ornate stuff. It's quite cool. So yeah. We're, um, glad that we came up here to have a look at this. I've been told that's the air, the air strip there, but I don't see any aeroplanes coming in, so I don't know. Okay, so it is, a, it is the airport, there's a plane over there, taxiing. Yeah, it's marvellous, um, what you can see from um, uh, height, so there's the plane over there. There's actually two of them I can see now. There's one over there and one further that way. There's a nice um, little comforting area here, guys. Very um, peaceful with a water fountain. And there's quite a few koi fish in there. You can see them over here. I don't know if the camera can get that. A few big ones and a few tiny ones in there. Well guys, this here is the, the end of our um, day trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've been to a few places, so... Um, hope it all looks good when, when the film comes out. And um, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Helps the channel very much. Thanks for watching.